Kuzuzongpo and welcome. I'm Choni, your host. It is already a year since we screened the first episode of Do You Know Your Child? We have a lot of people to thank, but most of all, many thanks to all the participants. We'd like to thank Madam Shara Bwongmo from Druk School, Madam Kinzung Pem from London Zampa School, Principal of Dr. Topgul School, Madam Chuki, and Sir M. B. Mongar from Druk School. This show was principally designed to support and promote the relationship between the parent and children. A healthy growth of your child depends on the value and dependability of his relationship with important people in his or her life, both within and outside the family. Do you know your child has been able to touch the hearts of all young and old? We have had our share of fun, laughter and tears on our show. Halfway through our journey, we had realized that written words did a better job of expressing the unconditional love between a parent and a child. There were a lot of wonderful letters exchanged between the parents and the children on this show. All the letters touched hearts. However, to make it more fun, we had a third party choose one award-winning letter for us. I'm very pleased to announce that we have a winner, and we have the winner with us today. And that articulate, expressive writer is Lazen. Please welcome to the show once again. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Lazen, welcome to the show for the second time. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, now, I just told you, you are the winner of the best letter for the first season. How, how do you feel? I feel very happy. Dear Mom and Dad, you are very nice to me all the time. You love me too. You are nice people. You, you are my lovely parents. You are very kind. Dear Mom, today you are looking pretty. I am very sorry if I am naughty. I will try to be good, but sometimes can I be naughty? I think you're going to tear your mom and dad up, <laughs> but that's all right. Um. This is the letter you have written for your parents, right? Can you read it for us once again? Okay, go ahead. Dear mom and dad, you are very nice to me all the time. You love me too. You are nice people. You are my lovely parents. You are very kind. Dear mom, today you are looking pretty. I am very sorry if I am naughty. I will try to be good, but sometimes can I be naughty? <laughs> This has been a year now. Uh, so this You've written this last year, right? When you were in class two, right? Do you think you're still naughty? Are you naughty still? A little bit. A little bit, okay. Were you naughtier in class two or are you, are you naughtier now in class three? Two. In class two, okay. Now you see you're growing up, right? I'm still going to keep that letter, okay? Because this is an award-winning letter. And I was, we had someone, um, the producers didn't uh, pick the winner, okay? And neither did I. It was someone else. Um, we had someone read all the letters and she said she liked this letter in particular because she said this, has, this was very pure from your heart. It was very innocent and we can tell you wrote it and you wrote it in such neat handwriting. Remember? Which is really good. So keep that up and to tell you thank you for being such a brilliant writer and I hope you keep writing to your parents and the people you love. We have this, this little ribbon for you. All right? Is that fine? From this whole basket if I just give you the ribbon. Is that all right? <laughs> just kidding. This whole thing is for you, okay? We have a um, couple of books. We have, um, of course, a Titan watch. You got a Titan watch before, right? Are you wearing it now? Yes. Good. Do you love it? Yes, yes. You haven't lost it, right? <laughs> Which is amazing because I lose my watches every two months. So do you wear that quite often, your watch? Yeah. Very good. And you're taking good care of it. That's really good. So this is for you. Um, we got this nice basket from um, shop number seven, Hatsuk. And they've been very kind enough to uh, give this to us for you for being such an amazing daughter. 
keep being whoever you are, okay? Your parents seem to be very happy with you. We have some um, colors for you and some puzzles. So here, this is all yours. All right, <laughs> can you take that? Okay, good. Now, Hazan, before you leave, do you learn anything from the show? Yes. Okay, tell me one thing, or maybe more than one if you have, one thing you've learned from the show. Parents are lovely to us. Mm -hmm. We also love parents. Parents also love us. So we should never go mm -hmm. back at village or yeah, yeah. country. You never, okay, okay. You should never leave your parents alone. Is that what you're trying to say? That's very good. That's a big message, right? And tell me, what was the, your favorite question? Who are you afraid of? Oh, okay. I'm going to use that question more often because you like it, Pukush. But if you have any questions that you don't like, do you have any of those? All right, but in future, if you have any questions that you don't like, or any, if you have problems um, going to school, maybe problems with your friends, okay? Problems trying to express, you can write to us and let us know, okay? And through our show, we'll try and address and talk about those issues. Tupka. Well, with this, I want to thank you for coming to the show. You can definitely take all of that and have fun. Thank you for all this Titan Watch and some books for me. Thank you very much. Thank you all the judges who wrote me for the letters. Happy birthday to you. Do you know your child? I'm your host, Choni. Question number eight, who is your best friend? Nine out of ten. What do you think about that? What does low mark in this quiz mean? Because it has distance. Are you both happy with it? Hear the message at the song. That's the aim of the show, Lagu. I am very sorry if I am naughty. To celebrate our anniversary with us, we have some of the parents who have been on our show. Welcome to the show again. And uh, before anything, let's uh, start with um, the ladies with the introduction. There. My name is Suman. And you've come here with your husband, right? Yes. I'm Furba Doji Tamang. I'm with my wife, Suman. And we're parents of uh, Lajin Lama. Okay. And both your daughters so, came to the show. Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm Jimmy Tenzin. Uh, I'm the <coughs> father of Jimmy Palin Tenzin. Okay. So last time I came with my daughter. I see. Right. And uh, I would like to wish the BBS to especially do you know each other a very happy anniversary. Thank you very yeah. much, La. Uh, before I start my introduction, uh, let me wish a uh, happy anniversary to do you know your do you know your child. Mm -hmm. And uh, my name is M.B. Mangor. I came with my son. Suzal Mangar, who is studying in Druk School. This is a very special day for us, so thank you so much for being able to come here. And congratulations to the two of you thank for you having uh, your daughter take the first prize. Yes. Uh, and um, it was a tough competition with letters. We had so many children write very expressively, so it was really difficult. But um, we, ha we had someone judge the letters for us because we knew the children would be too, it would be too, we were attached. At least I was attached. So um, we had someone um, do the decision making for us. And Hassan came first. And congratulations to both of you Thank and you. to her. Looking back, um, I always think because this show is about questionnaires, question answers, I always wonder, do you, do you prepare at all? I know children want to come first. I know they always say, I want to come 10, uh, get 10 out of 10. But did you prepare as, um, as a team? Did you prepare before you came to the show? We'll start with no, Not at all. <laughs> not all right. prepared. And your son was OK not preparing? Not prepared, OK. I see. All right. What about you, though? Uh, uh, like actually, when I received the call, I was quite excited, mm -hmm. and immediately I informed my daughter, yeah. and then she was quite excited also, and then she was asking me if she could go along also. Yeah. But unfortunately, she has an exam going on. Oh, 
Oh, so I, I told her that uh, for the moment, the important thing is you write your exam well. Yeah. So don't worry about anything. I'll take care of this oh, episode myself. Yeah. <laughs> this is my type of yes, change. <laughs> <laughs> right. But what about the first time you guys came? The first time, in fact, uh, I prepared a bit, mm -hmm. uh, knowing that uh, she had uh, brought me here to evaluate uh, oh, yeah. me as a father yeah. uh, in comparison to her mother. Yeah. So I prepared myself. I see. Yeah. Okay. So it took a bit of a preparation. I see. Yeah. And she helped you? Uh, not necessarily, but uh, <laughs> uh, I, I was just, yeah, I on my own. I see you tried. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about you two? Uh, actually, uh, not well prepared, but when I got the information that my daughter got the best about it mm -hmm. for the top letters <clears throat> for this <clears throat> one year anniversary of the doing a child mm. program. So it was really excited. Mm -hmm. And there had been three big surprises yeah. from this show yeah. with us. Firstly, my daughter first, when she came for the show, yeah. she was the first to get the Titan watch as a compliment. Oh, yes, yes. Secondly, my another daughter, elder daughter, uh, she had given her name for the show. Yeah. And she, sur she surprised me. <laughs> and I actually came for them. Yeah, because you came for both. Yes. Yeah. And there was the second surprise. Yeah. And this is the third. <laughs> so we are very happy as well as yeah. lucky as well. So oh, we are very much thankful to the judges. Mm -hmm. There must be some very good, good touching points that she must have written. Yeah. Though we have seen a lot of this program and there have been very good letters course, written by yes, other kids as well. Mm -hmm. But there must be some genuine good feelings, good points that my daughter must have written mm -hmm. that has touched them. Yeah. So we are very happy for selecting her later as the top. Oh, so we thank to all the judges and to BBS, I see. who has created this uh, platform yeah. to bring the good understanding between the parents and mm -hmm. uh, children. Yes, I see. Uh, such kind of so had never been there before. Yeah. So we encourage to other parents as well mm -hmm. to join this program and make it even a big success in coming days. Thank you very much. Um, now, yes, you've just reminded me, Lhasen was the first girl uh, to ever receive a Titan watch from us. And it started off with her, but it continued. It's still going on right now. So she's a lucky charm for us. Yes. <laughs> and of course, we should thank to Kusu Enterprises, who had been sponsoring for the uh, yes. watches to all the kids. Yes, so definitely. They are very happy to have it. As yeah, a I think that's, that's the main attraction. <laughs> Children love the watch. They just come yeah. here for the watch and roast their parents <laughs> while they do get that. <laughs> we have been doing this for a year, and we would love to hear some, um, some results out of the show, if there is any in your lives. You need not speak generally. You can just talk about how it, this show, if it has affected you in your life or brought some changes, because especially because of our last segment, we have the commitment segment where we have you or your child or both of you make a promise or resolution. So um, could, could I hear your resolutions if you still remember it? And I, wanna, I would also like to know if uh, that resolutions are following, uh, followed through or not. My commitment was that I would spend quality time with them. Mm -hmm. I'll do my best to know more about her. Right. Somehow, uh, we were not able to, especially like in my earlier episode, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I explained about uh, my wife's uh, mm -hmm. yeah, sudden uh, yeah. Yeah, passing. So after that, I was quite uh, uh, secluded on my own. Yes. I was, uh, uh, but after I made my commitment, so I have somehow made a commitment to stay with my kids mm -hmm. throughout and then it is quite uh i mean like a joy yeah. to see them they, they have no other wish they just want to see their father yeah. smile play and then spend time with them so mm -hmm. that is the only wish that they have mm -hmm. so i'm uh, doing that my whole heartedly yeah. so yeah that's in that the aspect, least you could do yeah and then uh, on the other side my daughter also she had a commitment that she will study hard yeah. And then I'm happy to see that after she came here, <coughs> she's very serious about her commitment. Oh, she drew her own timetable. Oh, she seriously yeah. puts the time, what time she'll get up, what time yeah. she'll study. So all those she's following up. And then again, if she's not able to fulfill that, then she even writes the punishment. <laughs> if, I don't, if I don't follow this, what yeah. my father will do. Oh. 
<laughs> if I fulfill this, what my father should give. Oh, all those kind wow. of things. Yeah, she's coming up with that. All That's those. good. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. I think um, having children make these rules themselves, yeah. these sanctions themselves, mm -hmm. would actually help them do the th follow their mm -hmm. own rules. Because it's difficult to break your own rule, mm -hmm. but if someone makes a rule, it's kind of yes. easier to break yes. it. So have them make the rules. That's yeah. really good. I'm really yeah. glad to hear that. Yeah. And what about uh, you two? You came here twice for two daughters, <laughs> and you made some commitments for them. And uh, I would like to know what they were and how it's coming up. Actually, this program has given uh, such an opportunity for both the parents and the children to share their some inner views, inner feelings that they couldn't share in at home. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, most of the time in houses, uh, most parents would be, you know, commanding them, scolding them mm -hmm. all the time to correct them. So children, may, they may not never get such opportunity to share their feelings openly. Mm -hmm. So this is the platform where they could at least share a few words mm -hmm. from their deep feelings, mm -hmm. what they have inside for their parents. And this has given such great opportunity which few words could express a lot mm -hmm. for parents and as well for the children. And few commitments what I had met was that I was the worst mm -hmm. <laughs> to have the lowest score yeah. <laughs> out of 10, just three. Uh, oh. But I'm very happy that uh, her later got voted the best. Yeah. And um, from that uh, score point of view, I think I have not been much able to understand her a lot. Mm -hmm. But as uh, we should understand as well, Chinese, they keep on changing their mind, yes. their uh, habits or whatever they like, dislike. So I had committed to uh, understand her more, mm -hmm. to make her habits much better because uh, she was quite uh, hard to get up early in the morning yeah. <laughs> and she couldn't go to bed quite early as uh, so i just wanted to correct in we should uh, spend more time with her mm -hmm. and chat more mm -hmm. ask her more questions not in just one field but in different things mm -hmm. about school life friends family in that way maybe we could mm -hmm. be able to understand her more so i had been trying to make her follow mm -hmm. such habits to improve herself. And yes, she had been improving. That's very good to know. Not a lot, but I could say how much. She's and trying. Yeah. Yeah. It's really difficult to change habits. Yeah. It takes a while. So at least the, at least she's trying and she knows at the back of her head that, okay, this is bad, I need to change it. So as long as they know, admitting and acknowledging that you have a problem is the first step towards ever doing better or changing. So that's really good to hear. What about you? Do you have uh, anything to share regarding commitments? Commitments. Uh, they want uh, most of the time. They want to, uh, me to be with them. Yeah. But unfortunately, I'm a working woman, so I have to spare a little bit time yes. for them. No, so it's very hard to keep uh, time. But uh, uh, as much as I as I can, uh, I can spend the most of the time with them mm -hmm. for caring, loving, <laughs> and yeah. fulfill their desire. Yes, of yes. course. That's yeah. really good. That's, I'm glad that's, you're trying. Yes. Because like you said, especially when both the parents are working, that's the biggest challenge, especially for a <coughs> child. Yes. Um, we, we haven't faced this in our, the previous generation because our mom stayed home. Our, at least for the, yeah. their children, their grandparents stayed home. And they were there. But now we have both the parents working, the grandparents are mostly not in town. Mm -hmm. So it's really difficult. So I'm glad you understand that. And um, although we are working from 9 to 5, and some of us more, I think it is the effort that we take, the quality, and not really the quantity of time you spend. Yeah. So right. definitely working on improving the quality yeah. of time spent together, I think, would count. For a lot. As such, uh, I didn't commit anything and mm -hmm. he didn't demand anything. Mm -hmm. From here up from maybe any uh, good work he does, mm -hmm. I think I need to reward him. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe fulfill his uh, desire, mm -hmm. whatever he wants. Some, but he does, he's a very good boy, he doesn't mm -hmm. ask too much. So now on you're saying if he does anything good, you'll give him something um, like quantitative, yes. not just verbal, because, yes. I mean, for them. Yes, yes, I think I need can, to give him. It's better for them to show, saying my dad gave me this because yes. I shared my book with my friend. And your dad says you committed to him yesterday, was it? Yeah. Saying that uh, you will get above 80. Do you think you can do that? 
Yes. Okay. All right. Well, good luck for that. And he mm -hmm. loves playing football. Yes. And he loves singing. Yeah. And some rap songs. Yes. Yes. And uh, one time he demanded a guitar. Mm -hmm. And then, and I asked him, if I give you a guitar, what would you going to do? Mm -hmm. So he said he's going to study mm -hmm. hard. So that's a, a great news for me. Yeah. So I think to fulfill to fulfill that, I bought him a guitar. Mm -hmm. And also, as a football, he wanted a futsal boot. Yeah. So recently, I bought him a futsal boot, and right now he's not here. He wanted to come here. Mm -hmm. Before I got a call, he made a commitment to his friends that yeah. he's going to play football. So he's oh, right okay. now he's in uh, Sangji playing football. I see. And uh, that's good. And the, uh, other than that, the quality time, if you see, as a teacher, and he's in the same school. Yeah. And I think I'm giving him a 24/7. Yeah. He's in the school also, at, as well as at home also. Okay. So for me, uh, not much, no problem with him. And more than his mom, I think I know him. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's more. why he came with you, yeah. right? <laughs> and, yeah. And uh, any any problem, any suggestion, always first he will ask me that what if I do like this, will it be okay or not? Mm. He will not ask that to mom because I take the decision. I see. And also he teaches me. Once I'm in the school, I'm a teacher, not his father. Mm, I feel like that would be a difficult thing to do. Yeah, calling but, teacher, but I, have, sir. I mean, dad, yeah. sir. So in the school, I'm a teacher. Mm. He should listen to me what I say. And at home, I'm his father. Mm -hmm, so yeah. he can talk all his... Is, is it easy to do that? Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> train the all right. Yeah. I want to point... I, I wanted to... Uh, you said something. You said you gave the guitar first and then asked him to chant, do Study. better in his studies. Yeah. You had that amount of trust in him that, yeah. you know what, I wouldn't regret buying that guitar. Bef because most of us say, okay, get the results and then I'll get you the guitar. Isn't that how we do it, most of us? <laughs> but you decided to award him first and then hope and pray and trust that he will do better. I mean, how did you, how were you able to do that? So I took the decision because I told him from the point of, yeah. not as from a, as a parent, yeah. from the point of teacher. So naturally, students are scared of teachers. So yes, if you I don't see. study. So I've seen this time uh, he has improved a lot. That is really good. And that made me happy. Yeah, that's really And he's good. also very happy. So he was showing me the first paper. So I sir, I, yeah. in the school only, uh -huh. tell the sir. So I got this person oh. English. Yeah, oh, so that's I'm so good. happy. That's really and good. So I think... Yeah, and I, I think this is, uh, to me, I, it just hit me right now. Um, re rewarding someone before they have done something, before they deserve it, I think puts a lot of pressure on the person to do better. better yeah. So I think, you know what, results are guaranteed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give them the presents first and then say, you know what, you have to do this. Because what we normally do is say, you know what, if you bring 80%, I'll give you this. If you bring 90%, I'll give you this. But... Um, I really like that idea. It just hit me. Yeah, so this is good. Trust. Yeah, yeah, and this yeah. huge yeah. amount of trust you put on, yeah. put in there. But yep. from my point of view, uh, they have committed to do well, yeah. though they are a little better than average, not top in, the, in their classes. Mm -hmm. But I expect them to do at least come first, second, third, mm -hmm. at least top fifth, mm -hmm. top yeah, five top in the five, class. Yeah. So they sometimes before examination, uh, they have asked that, would you? buy us a gear cycle, mm -hmm. they come first, second, third. I said, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. But come first, second, third, first. Mm -hmm. Mine is just opposite. Then I'll reward you later. Yeah. So every human, I feel that they should commit and uh, Prove show some. their progress yeah. and whatever first. Yeah. Then you get the reward. Yeah. If you don't reward them, then it's my fault. Yeah. Oh, I think most of the people do that. Yeah. That's how <laughs> things normally work. And... I think this is both working, though, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it depends yeah, on the mutual understanding and trust what yeah. you have with your children. So, but from my point of view, I think first you should so. Yeah. First you prove it, then you will get it. The thing is, these are very different um, theories that both work, which just proves uh, us that you, there's no one way of, okay, here's the book to perfect parenting. If you follow this, you'll be this perfect mom or this perfect dad. I read this really good quote by um, Dalai Lama and he said just because the other person is not uh, take on the same road as you are does not mean he is lost. He might be going to the same destiny but different, road. different roads. Yeah. So that, that is I think uh, the, the theme here right now. Yes. So many different ways of, <laughs> yeah. and techniques of being a parent. 
and result is the only thing you care about. Yeah. You can try so many ways, yeah. right ways, and um, hope that someday you'll have a child that makes you proud. Yeah. And you, you're already proud anyways, yeah, but happy. yeah. Indeed. I think yeah, the, we, are, we are brought up in that situation like, okay, uh, keeping a carrot in front of a horse. Yeah. So yeah. why not try in the other way also? Sometimes <laughs> yeah. it works. Maybe it feed the horse first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, I was wondering if you have any feedback so that we can keep doing better um, at what we do right now. After coming here, my son got a lot of, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, encouraged man, mm -hmm. and he's, uh, he has become a very uh, positive thinker now. Mm -hmm. And whenever he talk, I talk about the BBS, then yeah. he'll always tell me, okay, Dad, I also want to go. <laughs> he wanted to be uh, seen in the screen, yeah. I think. They like That's that. how I think he, uh, most of the parents and uh, his friends, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think after coming here, uh, they saw uh, him in the TV, and they said, Susan, I saw you in the TV yesterday. Oh, yeah. I was so proud. Yeah. You know? And then it's a very, doing a very good job, uh, BBS. Thanks for producing this one. I'd like to thank the producer. Mm -hmm, of and uh, my, just a suggestion, I don't know. Yes, yes, so please. It's just a suggestion, like uh, as a teacher, not from the point of parents, uh -huh. uh, as a teacher's point of view, I was just thinking in my mind, well, teachers are the second parent. Of course, yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Why not do the same, similar type of uh, thing like uh, with the student and the teacher? So I think teachers should know the, their kids in yes, the classroom, right? Yeah. So how will they know it? Oh. You can just, uh, police could just think about it. And yeah, then. yeah. So I think that will be a very good. students? Yeah. Season two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So yeah. that's my suggestion. All right. But teacher and students. Teacher and students. All right. We'll take that into Do you know your uh, <laughs> children? I don't know. What. Students? The students. Students, yeah. Yeah, yeah in, in that the uh, topic maybe the students must give some good suggestions to their teachers Teacher, yeah. how they should deal actually yeah. to get more attention from the students mm. yeah. yeah I think that could be a very good It'll be both ways, program yeah. as well yeah. teachers and for students yeah all right I'll take that into consideration thank I'll you very much all right. and what about you uh, any feedback suggestions uh, you know, I cannot think of uh, any other uh, more I mean like uh, better ways than what is already going on. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the section that you have with love is amazing and that the commitment part is already amazing. So it already enhances the special bond that already exists with the parents and children. So I think uh, the show, the fact that it has run one year, mm -hmm. itself shows that how successful, how well it has been uh, conceived and then yeah, being uh, showcased. Mm -hmm. So I think to me personally, I think maybe I'm not uh, able to, my limited knowledge doesn't allow me to think beyond what is already going on. <laughs> but uh, all said and done, I think these days children, they are quite fond and excited about their birthdays. Oh, yeah. So at least uh, if the kids who have already come into the show, yeah. if a uh, host or any such a show oh. could make it a point that they wish oh. the kids do at the beginning of their yeah. Yeah, next show, that kids... So I think they'll be quite uh, happy to I love that. Yeah, okay. see that their but it has been wished on yes. BVS program and all. I think, yeah. Oh, okay. That's yeah. very interactive yeah. too. So that people could, even if they yeah. haven't come to the show, yeah. they could write to us and say, hey, it's my birthday. Could you wish? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That could be a possibility only if our show gets aired on it, the exact day. It on Saturday, yeah. yeah. All right. But definitely, I'd like to keep that in mind <laughs> okay. and we'll do that. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. What about you, Tula? Any feedbacks? We are very much thankful to uh, the person who started, came up with this idea, and the uh, BBS team who had been uh, running this show very successfully. And this gives confidence not only to the child, even to the parents, mm -hmm. because most of the parents, they have not come up for such kind of show. Mm -hmm. And when, when we get good feedback after the show, after the program is aired, and when our friends, relatives, they give us good feedback, uh, that, that gives more confidence, especially to the ch uh, child, mm -hmm. and it encourages to the rest other children around uh, them in school or <coughs> house, so that more children would uh, come forward uh, yeah. to attend this show, so that parents also would uh, support them to bring here, and they get more confidence, more exposure, 
And beside that, uh, as a little suggestion, most of the kids, they are very sweet. Mm -hmm. They are very small. And many kids these days, they have a lot of talents. Mm -hmm. So if just a minute program yeah. during the show time, if the anchor could give him her, her opportunity yes. to show the whatever talent he or she got, yeah, just yeah. like singing, maybe yeah. dancing, uh -huh. or a good joke, yeah, yeah. or any good speech, mm -hmm. that would be more exciting. Very true. Uh, even the viewers, even yes. to the viewers. And, uh, and even me, I, I love yeah. hearing them sing. <laughs> so definitely, I'll do and that. And besides that, maybe a similar kind of program could be started, like how well do you know your parents? In mm. that program, maybe the children could be given more time to speak about their parents. That's very true. Just it opposite. could work, work both yeah. ways, yeah. So that let the, let the children speak more about their parents, mm -hmm. and how they feel about their parents, yeah. when they scold someone. Because some situations now, Many kids, when they don't do good in exams, especially when their parents put so much pressure, must pass, must come first, mm. good result. We have seen some suicide cases even mm -hmm. with the small children. Yeah. So, you know, what they have in their mind, such pressure, we really actually do not understand that from their point of view. So we just try to push them hard, get good result, but sometimes they cannot handle that pressure. So under such sure. situation, we have seen uh, some suicide cases, which is very sad. Mm -hmm. So I think let the children also speak more. Mm -hmm. So even we can't expect them academically excellent yeah. academic marks or reports, but in generally there should be a very understandable child. Yeah. They should listen to parents, what yeah. this, uh, instruct them, teach them, guide them, so that they should be in general a very good human being. Yes. Not I that, think that a perfect in academic only. I agree. So I think if such more opportunity should, could be given yeah. to the children, I think that would be mm -hmm. a good uh, platform where they could share more views from yeah. their... Yes. Very true. Um, I like how you um, said that mm -hmm. we focus so much on academia. Yes. Like, it's about marks, 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 marks. Do better in class, class. It's like, it's ridiculous how we put so much pressure on this one child to excel in all the five or six subjects they have. I would like to take this opportunity to remind our viewers and all the parents out there, including uh, the four of you here, that it's really hard to comprehend that parents put so much pressure for academia. Of course, if the child is brilliant, you don't have to tell that child to study so yes, hard. That's true. He's going to be brilliant anyways. But one request that I would like to put, put out there is to find your child's expertise or see what your child enjoys doing and make that child an expert in that. Yeah. yeah. Because that person will do well. You don't have to force your, uh, him to study or practice whatever art he's trying to do. But if you just encourage him and support him in something that he's enjoying, someday People have done it so many times outside this country. Someday, your child would also make a living out of his passion. Yeah. And that yes. is the best combination mm -hmm. of having to make a living and it's always blessed to have that be your passion. So, I mean, I know this one particular child. She's not, um, she's not brilliant in studies at all, but she's hardworking. I think she gets a lot of pressure from home to do well. But, I mean, at the best, she could just pass. But I found her so talented in housekeeping. She is so good. She's so neat and tidy. And I've been telling her parents also to give her the opportunity to do maybe interior designing in the future or just have her do maybe baking or something. Because yeah. people who are doing well are only doing well because they are feeling it for their job. And... Um, while I was in college, we were also going through this article where they, um, they had a list of names. In one, they had the list of names of people who weren't good in studies. And then they were the, next to it was their salary. It was m like triple the amount of the uh, salary the people who are brilliant in studies made. Like actresses and actors. <laughs> I mean, they get paid yeah. in six digits dollars and there are people who are genius and they're professors and they don't get as much so i mean you need to know what your 
niche is or what your skill is and then make use of that. And mm -hmm. if parents could find that out, I think it will be helpful for the child to not have that low self-esteem. Oh, I'm in bad in academia, which means I'm a bad person. Our children are made to believe that. So it will be very helpful if you guys could do that and, have, and spread the word too. Have you watched the show um, when it wasn't your episode? <laughs> Were you able to watch other episodes of this show? Yes. Well, usually my son, you will put on BBS too, and you always mm -hmm. see this. Whenever he says, Dad, please yeah. come here. He says, uh, do you know your child? Yeah. And one time he literally dragged me from my uh, bed, and he uh, asked me to sit yeah. beside him and watch that one. I and see. then after that, I think even the mom came, and mm -hmm. his brother also came. So I think it becomes a family uh, yeah, event. He liked, uh, and I think uh, this show is quite uh, good for the children. Mm -hmm. They build their confidence, mm -hmm. and once they come here, and though they don't realize that this we aired, yeah. and then after seeing that in the TV, I mm -hmm. think uh, they really go, oh, I'm a superstar. Yeah, superstar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And recently, uh, a month, not a month, I think a month or two. Uh, Ago, I think we went to we went to Galifu, mm -hmm. and in I Blaze, we went there, yeah. and many of them have uh, they have uh, watched this show. Yeah. And as soon as we reached there, oh, we saw you in the TV. Oh, he's and so he was so happy. Yes, he loves the attention. <laughs> yeah. So I think this show is quite good for mm -hmm. the especially for the children. I see. It will really uh, develop their confidence, mm -hmm. and they will be open up more. Yeah. And. I realized that, as I uh, said before, I think after this show only, he started singing that one, and he asked yeah. me a guitar. Uh, I think you might know it. he sings a rap song, oh, all yeah, in yeah. this, that, and then, <laughs> yeah. And he has really be, uh, uh, built his confidence, and it's, it's really a very good, good uh, platform for the children. Uh, keep going. Yeah. And <laughs> Thank you. Keep going, and keep more opportunity to more we hope oh, to yeah. have uh, more guests here. Thank you. And um, I wanted to ask, what was the favorite part of the show? Although the whole program was uh, quite wonderful, and then, uh, and then when it comes to favorite part from that, uh, uh, with love was the most I because I could directly relate to what she was feeling about mm. me, and then how I was feeling, I could directly yeah. express through letter. I see. So yeah, that was the most important part. Okay, all right. Yeah. And what about you? What was your favorite? Oh, I, I think the letter exchange parents to children, that is uh, most uh, important. Thing. If you don't mind me pointing out, but I think you were the first parent who decided uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got a little emotional, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. I still have a picture of uh, you um, yes. <laughs> when your daughter was reading the letter, right? This letter, this particular letter mm, yes. made you tear up. But yeah, all right, so that's <laughs> What about you, though? Well, I think I missed out that... Uh, you were, it wasn't there? Yeah, it wasn't there okay, in my right. time, so maybe I, when I see, I oh, might okay. tell you later. Maybe you need to come again, then. <laughs> Fine, invite. <laughs> all right. I really want to thank all of you for coming here uh, for the second time. And you guys are doing a great job as parents. And I know it's really difficult sometimes to be the perfect parent that you want yourself to be. But it takes a lot of uh, patience. It takes a lot of tolerating and forcing, your, forcing yourself to be mm -hmm. someone you want to be just f for the sake of your child. And I think the fact that you keep going, do, uh, keep on doing that is, uh, itself makes you a great parent. So thank you so much. And as a thank you, um, I have, we have these DVDs from BBS. It's the Coronation DVD. Um, we have these for all of you as gifts. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for coming Thank and you. being there for your child, especially, and for the show too. Thank you. In addition to the parents who've come here, we also want to thank all the parents who were able to accompany their children to our show, and also the parents and children who have never come to the show but want to. Um, we definitely want to thank all our sponsors, all our viewers, and especially, especially, especially the children who have supported and loved our show. Now, we know we only had one winner for our letter, but we all know that you, whoever has come to the show and has written even a single word to your mom and dad, you are all winners. So thank you so much, and if you would like to be a part of the show, 
uh, please write to us at parenting at bvs.bt. Happy, Happy anniversary! anniversary.